Hello there, I'm Alex from the Skills Team. This video is an extract from my introduction to referencing and Sight and Write workshop, delivered live to an audience of students on the 20th of October 2020. In this extract, I explain how you can correctly reference a source that is quoted within another source, but where you cannot find the original source. You can do this by using a method called secondary referencing, which I explain in this video. If you would like to attend one of our workshops live, then go to our Enhance Your Learning Workshops calendar linked in the description of this video and register for an event. So, secondary referencing. So, sometimes people come to me with questions about this. And actually, I believe someone who's at the session came to me with this a few days ago. Essentially, secondary referencing is when you're reading a book and inside that book, the author has quoted another source. So, generally, if you can find the source that they've quoted, is a individual book or journal or online source, I would find that and quote that. If you can't find the original source, then you can do something called secondary referencing. So instead of referencing the primary source, you reference the source that it's quoted in. So where this is the case, what you will want to do is you want to cite the original author, but do mention that it's been quoted in the book that you've read. So, for example, if I was reading Lewis, Lewis's book from 2018, and I found that he quoted Harvey, I would say Harvey, comma, quoted in Lewis, comma, 2018, and then what page I found on. When you enter into your reference list, though, don't enter in Harvey because you haven't actually seen or read Harvey. Only add in the book that you've actually read. So here you'd, quote, you'd add in Lewis. Thank you for watching this extract from our workshop. I hope that you found it useful. If you are interested in learning further about this topic, I've added some useful links into the description of this video. There is also a link to our calendar of upcoming workshops in the description. If you want to see our workshops live, then you can use this calendar to find and register for events that you're interested in. Thank you again for watching.